Welcome back. My name is Kerry, and today I've got some big important news for the entire prefab home industry. It was just announced last week that the first 3D printed zero net energy home has just been finished. And let me tell you, at first glance, this looks like an absolute home run. Right now, homes built partially or completely off-site have been getting a lot of attention, and I think it's the result of companies exceeding expectations in a bunch of different ways. There are companies finding new ways to build and ship more affordable options. There are companies building higher-end homes than ever before, and now there's a company building homes that will cost less to power. Free 99 per month, or zero dollars. The company I'm talking about is called Mighty Buildings and their recently finished 3D printed panelized home in California. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out a few of their homes and let you know why I think they might have flipped their business model. Mighty Buildings is a California based construction technology company that is dedicated to transforming the way the world builds homes. Has anyone else noticed that up until recently housing had kind of been flying under the disruption radar and not a lot was changing but all of a sudden there's companies challenging the status quo of what we live in and how it's built. It's fascinating to watch. Mighty Buildings is on a mission to help solve the housing and climate crisis. Using innovative materials, science, robotics, and automation, they're working to make carbon neutral housing a reality for everyone. This is what I like to call big brain stuff, and I'm glad there are people out there with the mental horsepower needed to get some of this stuff accomplished, stepping up and getting it done. I was going to insert a joke here about my own mental bandwidth, but I couldn't think of one. The problem they've identified is that construction is actually hurting the planet. Apparently, of the total global CO2 emissions, a whopping 27% comes from construction, and construction produces 600 million tons of waste annually in the US alone. Yeah, those are shocking numbers, but they've got a plan. By using innovative 3D printing, robotics, and automation, they build beautiful, customizable home kits with 99% less waste and will have a lower carbon footprint than homes traditionally constructed. They currently have a goal to produce fully carbon neutral houses by 2028. It looks to me like they might have narrowed their focus slightly because they used to offer fully finished prefab homes like the Mighty Studio, but now I can't find it anywhere on their website. It is possible that it's still available by special request, but there is a definite focus on their panel system that's built in the factory and delivered to the site ready to assemble. With their system, they say their builds are 80% automated, produce 99% less construction waste, so almost nothing, and are printed with 60% recycled material. The patented Mighty Kit system is precision engineered to deliver the future of construction built in an automated factory with fewer parts and materials, than other prefabricated solutions. The actual panels are 3D printed using their composite material and coated with epoxy based primer and acrylic paint. The next layer is foam insulation and their near zero waste insulation process achieves above 19 R value walls. A steel frame provides an added layer of strength and load bearing capacity. Bat insulation increases the thermal efficiency and finally gypsum board provides a clean and crisp interior finish. The result is the 3D printed panel on the outside which they say are the highest quality, feature head turning parametric designs and are well suited for climates affected by climate change. One of the questions I get fairly often is how is this thing going to hold up in blank? Hurricane, snow, whatever. Well, they say the homes are highly insulated, have soundproofing design, are earthquake and hurricane resistant, have class A surface burning characteristics, and are resistant to mold, mildew, water, and insects. Long story short, the panels are built in the factory, then they ship them to the site where they're put together piece by piece to achieve whatever floor plan they're building. Let's check out a few of the homes. The home that was recently featured as the world's first 3D printed home designed as net zero energy from inception is one of their Quattro model in Southern California. It was built in a 20 lot development Mighty has been working on where each lot has a main home and an ADU. The zero net energy Quattro is a two bedroom, two bathroom home with a footprint of 1,176 square feet. A zero net energy home is classified as one that produces at least as much through clean renewable resources as it consumes. So if you're running a bin for a generator out back doesn't count. Mighty Building CEO Slava was quoted in Business Wire saying, We are excited to be the first company in the world to complete what we believe to be the sustainable housing standard in the future. As a result, housing developers will no longer have to choose between profitability, quality, design, and protecting the planet. The first 3D printed zero net energy home ever built is a result of years of R&D processes, including creation of proprietary certified construction technology and a revolutionary alternative to concrete, which provides 
drastically lower thermal conductivity. Our manufacturing technology features a high degree of automation and advanced robotics, enabling us to reduce the completion time by more than half. In this way, the entire home can be constructed within four to five months, significantly accelerating on-site completion and resulting in happier home buyers, more productive on-site workers, and higher returns for developers. And that right there is why they're calling themselves a construction tech company. This isn't everyday stuff. Aside from being zero net energy and all the benefits that come with that, the floor plan designates the correct amount of square footage for actual living space. Sure, they could have fit three bedrooms in the same space. They could have made the two bedrooms bigger, but look at how much of the total footprint is used for areas of the home that will likely be used for the most amount of time when your eyes are actually open. I understand the appeal of a large bedroom if it's a huge home, but if it's an either or situation like this, I fully support what they've done here. At one end of this home, they've got the living room that's open to the kitchen, followed by the entrance and landing with shelving and storage before entering what I would consider the back of the home. And that's where you'll find the second bedroom, main bedroom and both bathrooms. Overall, I think the home turned out great and to whoever buys it, enjoy no power bill. Wow, it's gotta be good living. It seems to me that Mighty Buildings is making strategic moves to a more efficient business model that will allow them to scale faster. When you go to product people like, which I would say they do, one of the benefits is being able to decide which projects you want to be a part of and more or less decide who you want to work with. Last time I did a video on Mighty, they were selling direct to consumer in one-off deals or what I would call street sales. An example would be Garth Garneau has purchased the lot. He wants a home for said lot, so he goes to Mighty and pays them money. Bingo, bango, bongo, Garth loves his new home on his lot and they're on to the next sale. They might still be doing that, but it doesn't seem that way on their website. There seems to have been a shift to taking on larger projects with developers where they sell multiple homes in a single spot. In fact, they have an entire build with us section on their website site with the headline that says let's reimagine construction where developers can get in contact about a potential partnership the benefit for them is now they're setting up 20 30 50 or more homes in a single spot instead of driving all over california and setting up one home at a time i've done a 33 lot manufactured home community and i've done onesie twosie street sales to whoever wants to buy and i can tell you the development scenario logistically makes a lot more sense having multiple homes in one location streamlines the entire process right now they have three developments on the go that they've made Made public on their website. Number one, I previously mentioned in Southern California. Number two is another 30 lot development in California that will be made up of 2,100 square foot, two bedroom, two bathroom primary residences with a garage, access to a community pool, cabanas, hot tubs, fire pits, and outdoor showers, as well as a two bedroom, one bathroom ADU. Finally, they have a seven acre development in the Caribbean that will consist of 3,000 square foot, four bedroom, four bathroom homes with access to world famous beaches. This development is definitely targeting people with more cake to throw than Steve Aoki, but it does sound like good living. The development has a clubhouse with a gym, cabanas, and a barbecue area, but no indication of the exact location or pricing. Any guesses? Mighty Building seems to have their foot on the gas and are partnering on developments to make their entire process more efficient. It's interesting to see them pivot as they gain popularity to be able to build and set up more homes. As they prove out this business model and get a track record of success, I think they'll attract more developers who want to cut down build times and be able to fill their developments faster maybe more companies will follow suit. The best part of all is I think we're still very early in this offsite construction boom, so I'm excited to see where the industry goes from here. I'm a fan of what they got going on down at Mighty Buildings, so I will be following along with what they're up to and posting any updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.